Hello, everybody. Here I am at the crime scene. Um, my house was actually just broken into last night. And as you could see, they fingerprinted the freezer because this is where we found uh, my wife's wallet. Uh, wide open, all the cash was gone. Thankfully, nothing else was gone. But my remedy is going to be this simple network video camera, the model S651, which I'm going to be installing here in the basement. And uh, here is just the unboxing part. I will continue after with the installation. So I'm going to open this up and we'll go through uh, what it comes with. Um, we got the driver CD, the uh, template for the screws, quick start manual. I've done none of these, enough of these uh, simple cameras that I don't really need the startup guide, but this one's, this one's not wireless, so I haven't done one of these yet. But as you can see, it comes with the uh, camera nicely packed. Right here, that's the camera. Let's take off the protective coating so you can see. It's got a nice, it feels nice and uh, solid. This is metal. And that's, uh, it seems like some hard plastic or something, but it looks like it's got a three, nice 360 capability. Um, that's the button to reset it. Then you got the uh, network cable and the power. And here's the power cable, which I guess it's a pretty good length. And last, we have the network cable, which again, we'll have to do. Uh, I might be able to get a longer one. Let's see, it depends how far from my uh, router it is. Here it comes with a nice tool to easily install it, which is good, and some screws. Well, I'll be back with the uh, installation and the uh, workmanship of this camera um, soon. Okay, here I am back at the scene of the crime. This is where the guy broke in last night. Obviously, now I have it all um, barred off. And um, this is where I put the camera, right by the door, kind of hidden behind this uh, this duct channel. Um, as you can see, my basement's like framed out, quite a mess. Um, so there's the camera. And it actually is aimed right by the door, so if someone comes in the door now, not really expecting anyone coming in the door with this bar here, I'm going to add a couple more as well. But it was pretty simple. I uh, connected the wire to my router, which is right here. And that wire goes up. There's too many wires to follow, but you get the point. And it's also plugged in right up there. Um, and that's how it works. Now I'm going to go upstairs and uh, check it out from my iPad on the video so we can see how Okay, it so here I am upstairs on my iPad. I'm going to go to the Simple app. Um, I got to log in. Give me a second here. Okay, we're logging in here. Uh, login succeeded. And here is the thing. And my basement camera is online. The other two are actually um, unplugged right now. So they're not um, going to load. But let's click the basement one. We'll check out how it looks. And for some reason, it's black and white. I'm not sure why. Um, it was switching back and forth. Maybe that's the IR. Oh, the infrared. Okay, so that makes sense. I'm going to actually change that. Let's see if I can switch that now. Video settings, IR control. Let's put that on on our auto. And we'll go back. And we'll see it's still. Video settings, IR control. Let's put that on for now. Okay. Hmm. It could be that it only before it was switching back and back and forth with color um, when I went in front of it. So it could be that it's only when it's recording or when when it detects motion. But I set the um, settings, detection settings. 
that they should um, sensitivity is medium if it detects uh, motion I didn't set up any email or anything save record I didn't do that um, they actually have a lot more features in this uh, in this Apple app unless my iPhone my Android phone is not updated but here you can check the, the all, all about the model 651 um, you could add a memory card well this one actually there's no memory card um, let's see what else there's no Wi-Fi I'm not sure why it says Wi-Fi uh, volume settings that's for this it had, um, the uh, sound on the camera mail settings you can actually have it send you an email as instead of an alert and reset reboot you can um, update it and different things well anyway that's the picture um, of the camera and it seems to be a pretty clear picture you can read the words um, on that box electric lopper uh, it's actually a new Ryobi electric lopper that I bought but never used it yet I was actually afraid that that got stolen <laughs> Uh, luckily, it didn't. Pretty much the only thing that got stolen was my wife's uh, cash from her wallet. But now I have a camera right by the door, which is right here. Um, I might have to change the angle a little bit to get a little better, but I'm very happy with this simple uh, 651 S651 camera. It uh, seems like for this, it'll do the job. It doesn't pan. Um, it doesn't move around or anything, but you can zoom. Um and I'm assuming on the on the footage you can zoom as well when it records. Um, so, you know, it's pretty clear for a 720p camera. And I would definitely recommend it for a stationary, you know, to monitor one door or for a baby monitor, let's say, or something like that. Um, it's, it, it's, it's a great, it's a great camera. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope I could get some sleep tonight. <laughs>